From TLDR News, this is your daily briefing for Tuesday the 28th of June 2022. Good afternoon. Today we'll be discussing some of the biggest stories, including Wales's basic income pilot and a tragedy in Texas. We'll also be answering today's big question, is Netflix dying? As well as discussing the plans for Scottish independence. But first, Russia's attack on a Ukrainian shopping centre. In one of the most shocking attacks of the war, Russia struck a shopping mall in Kremenchuk, Poltava. The mall itself had between 200 and 1,000 people in it at the time of the strike, according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Ukrainian emergency services have confirmed that there are now 18 deaths and a further 21 people missing. The G7 have condemned the abominable attack while reiterating their unwavering support for Ukraine. A UN spokesperson was more specific, saying it's deplorable to say the least. Any sort of civilian infrastructure, which includes obviously shopping malls, and civilians should never be targeted. Russia has actually denied that it was responsible for the fire in the shopping mall, instead claiming that it was caused by the detonation of stored ammunition for Western weapons. No evidence was offered to back this up. At least 46 people have been found dead in the back of an abandoned truck in San Antonio, Texas, in a suspected human smuggling incident. 16 people, including 12 adults and 4 children, were found alive and taken to hospital, suffering from heat exhaustion. The San Antonio fire chief said that they had found no water in the trailer and no visible working air conditioning unit. San Antonio has had temperatures surpassing 37 degrees Celsius this month. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, tweeted, These deaths are on Biden, blaming the deaths on the president's, quote, open border policies. Abbott's Democratic challenger, Beto O'Rourke, said urgent action was needed to expand avenues for legal migration in order to dismantle human smuggling rings. There's more on the way, but be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make the daily briefing part of your daily routine. Or just search for us on your podcast app to listen along. On Monday, it was announced that Sri Lanka was running dangerously low on petrol and diesel. Reuters have additionally claimed that the country is down to its last 15,000 tonnes of petrol and diesel. This is to be used for essential services only, which means the country will slowly grind to a halt, with many people unable to use public transport, etc. This comes on the back of huge economic problems in the country, with Sri Lanka currently in the midst of the worst economic crisis since it gained independence from Britain in 1948. In an attempt to ease the fuel crisis, the government is aiming to purchase cheap fuel from Qatar and Russia. It's unclear whether they'll be able to do this. Even aside from fuel, the wider economic crisis has caused four out of five people in Sri Lanka to start skipping meals, according to the UN. On Monday, the Russian hacking group Killnet took responsibility for a series of intense cyber attacks against Lithuania. The attacks were first made public by Lithuania's National Cyber Security Centre last week who announced they were recording a substantial increase in distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks. The attacks have hit public authorities as well as the transport and financial sectors. A spokesperson for Killnet told Reuters on Monday that the attack will continue until Lithuania lifts the blockade, a reference to Lithuania's move to ban the transit of goods sanctioned by the EU through its territory to the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad. According to the Vice Minister of National Defence, the attack is ongoing, but has had limited success so far. The group has threatened to deploy ransomware. The Welsh Government has announced its basic income pilot scheme will begin this week, on Friday the 1st of July. The pilot scheme will see more than 500 people leaving the care system offered £1,600 per month, before tax, for two years as they transition to adult life. Wales's Labour government said the £20 million pilot scheme, which will last for three years, will provide independence and security to people who have faced immense challenges during their childhood. The Welsh Minister for Social Justice said, we will examine whether basic income is an efficient way to support society's most vulnerable and not only benefit the individual, but wider society too. The Welsh Conservatives criticised the pilot scheme, saying it could well create more problems than it solves. 
That's all we have time for on YouTube today, but if you want more, including our discussion of Is Netflix Dying? and Sturgeon's plans for independence, then watch the extended edition of The Daily Briefing over on Nebula. Nebula subscribers not only get everything you've already watched ad-free, but also an extended edition of the show every single day, available to watch on Nebula or stream on your podcast app of choice. So if you want to support the channel and get a more extensive daily briefing every day, you'll want to sign up. And there's good news. Our friends at CuriosityStream, the streaming service which offers some of the best documentaries, is offering a deal whereby you can get both platforms, CuriosityStream and Nebula, for less than $15 a year. That's all the best documentaries you could want on CuriosityStream and then more TLDR on Nebula, including the extended briefing, other full exclusive TLDR videos, and it's always ad-free. Click the link below to get both services for less than $15 a year and support the channel.